Hello all, Jenny here with the BoxyCharm Base Box for August 2022. I have went ahead and pulled um, everything out, looked at everything and pulled it out of um, its packaging because honestly the OPV packaging gave me a heck of a time. I um, am not, I'm going to give a warning and I'll explain at the end why. I'm not too thrilled about this box. Um, Boxy Charm is not looking at my profile at all. Is all I'm going to say now. We'll get into it more at the end. So let's go ahead and dive in. So of course, first it comes with the card. The theme is Dusk Till Dawn, and my variation is 38 B A. I don't think it's showing clear, but that's that. So, first item that we have here is the Cupid Eyeshadow Palette from Natasha Denona. And has the names, they're easier to read on here, so we'll read them off here. Clove, Shell, Monroe, Nude Vino, and Oxide. It's a really pretty palette. And... There's something in the ingredients that had my cat really sniffing at it when I was taking pictures. That's why, hence the wet spot there. Yeah, I'm not going to use that. I'm just going to rub that wet spot out. Yeah. My um, cat was a little too into this palette for comfort. So let's go ahead and zoom out to swatch. Or, you know, we'll swatch this at the end. Okay. So this is the Cupid palette. And they have here about it with three velvety mattes and two dazzling metallics. The versatile five pan Cupid palette is all you need to create a range of romantic looks from flirty to fierce featuring rich coppery browns, bright champagne pinks, and luscious burgundy color corals. All five shades are velvety, hydrating, and effortless to layer. No, that's that one. It is a really pretty palette. I do like that. My next item are the Lexi, and it, it the Cupid palette retails for forty eight dollars. The next item we have here are the is the Lexi All Purpose Sponge Set, and this was featured in premium I think last month. Not too thrilled about it but it's what it is the dual the duo sided beauty sponge is best used damp and made for your li liquid complexion products this sponge absorbs the least amount of product and applies the majority of it on your skin the microfiber sponge used dry will apply your powder products smoothly or used wet will apply your liquid products with no lines or demarcation it retails for forty dollars it's a boxy exclusive and $40 for makeup sponges is criminal. It's not wrong. This is driving the MSRP of the whole box up without it actually being worth that. So, I mean, that's part of the problem with my box, but it's not the big issue. And then the next we have is the Beauty for Certain Deluxe Lipstick. Generate, originate, choose only the finest with BFCs long lasting deluxe lipstick delivering that extra matte and finished silky smooth application and velvet texture you crave this is a new launch it retails for $18 I've heard very mixed reviews about it or I've seen very mixed reviews about it on um, other reveal vi videos this is the color it's not really a shade I go for so it's not really a shade I go for. I, um, I don't think it really complements my tones well. And that's that. Next item is the Aesthetica Starlight Highlighter. They say about this, create a multi-dimensional, well let's look at it first and then we'll read about it. So, this is what it looks like. It's really pretty. And so they say, 
create a multi-dimensional radiant glow. This velvety, soft, lightweight, illuminating formula delivers stunning, buildable highlight that can be worn day or night. Achieve a perfect picture, luminous finish that complements all skin tones. It is sales for or retails for twenty-five dollars. It is pretty. That's how it looks. Close that on my side of the side. Um, yeah, it's okay. I do think it's a little too warm tone for me, but it is really pretty. Would look nice on like the brow bone. And my final product, and I did this one last because it's going to be a little messy is the OPV Beauty London Glow Perfect Face Palette. It's in shade four, which I wanna say was the lightest shade they had on offer. And um, it was really tightly packed, so it just has to be, I guess, how they, um, and there's the, it's very reflective face. There we go. So as you can see, it's damaged. I um, went ahead and kind of tried to do a little bit of fixing it, of doctoring it. Didn't really do the best job of doctoring it. This is the, still looks pretty dark. This is the, let's that back, bronzer. I think that could blend in. If I, if I use a light touch and blend it in, I think I could make it work. Then the um, next shade, that one goes in pretty seamlessly, actually. And finally, the blush. I will be contacting Ipsy about this, of course course. Um, there's that. The lighting isn't the best. I'll post pictures of my Instagram with better lighting or with some settings that'll give it a more true. That'll make it look more true. And so they say as this, as part of the new Glow Perfect collection, this multi-purpose face palette contains a magical trio of highlighter, bronzer, and blusher proving to be the perfect multifunctional beauty kit. In true OPV style, Glow Perfect colors are heavily pigmented, which allows them to really pop on the skin. Each formula delivers shade longevity and will stay for the duration of the day following application. It retails for $34 and this is a new launch. So as you can tell, this was one of the problems with my um, boxes that I did get a damaged product. I will contact um, BoxyCharm about it and they'll they'll do something. They'll probably give like a um, coupon code for the drop shop, which I'm not complaining about. That's totally fine. So before I get into swatching the um, Natasha Denona pa palette, I do wanna talk about one of my problems with it. And some of you probably can already tell and some of you are probably like, that's a great box, it's all makeup. Like, who wouldn't want that? And that's kind of my thing, it's an all makeup box. I have on my profile, I want a mix of makeup and skincare. And I didn't get any skincare in this box. And now there, and like I said, there are people who would love to have just an all makeup box and they mark their profile as makeup heavy. So I don't understand why I, as someone who says they want skincare and makeup, only got makeup. That doesn't feel right. I also feel like the total retail value of $165 isn't true to form because there is no way on earth that these are worth $40. Who would pay $40 for a sponge set and, and because it's a boxy exclusive that means that if when they sell it separate or if they sell it like in the shops it's going to be um it's going to be at a reduced price um now they might sell it like 
outside of the drop shop and mega drop drop shop at the regular price but who's who's paying forty dollars for this really no one is so i think a lot of people got a much higher value box than i did um i don't want to say that's not fair but it kind of isn't and it, now i don't want anyone to get me wrong this is still a great value you it, so i paid thirty dollars and thirty cents when you take in taxes so it's a really great steal but BoxyCharm could have done so much better. This box should be going to someone who has in their profile that they want all makeup. Not someone who says, I want makeup and skincare. I want both. Uh, and they had some great skincare featured in August. And I didn't get any of it. And that just makes me so mad. I deserve skincare. I have skin. So let's go ahead and end this on a happy note with the palette. And again, I should have adjusted the lighting or adjusted my settings according to these palettes so that they could look a little more true to form. I will, um, again, be posting some better lit or um, adjusted photos to show the true colors on my um, Instagram. Okay. So there's the first one. It's very pigmented, which is good. It's a nice color. like a, I don't want to say violet, but almost kind of like a red violet color, just without, as it's not as purpley as it would be. And then there's the next shade. Let me grab the box. So the first one, this one is clove and this one is shell. Now we're going to do Monroe. Monroe is a really pretty shimmer, and they have a really great formula. There's the Monroe. It's really pretty. It doesn't show as well on here, and it is pretty subtle on my skin tone. It's like really pretty on like a deep skin tone, I think. And this one is Nude Vino. Go ahead and do a second. Monroe and finally oxide. And cat hair, of course. It's a really pretty kind of nudie palette. Which I, I would think Cupid would be a little redder, but it's still really pretty. And I do really like it. I think their formula is a really nice formula. This is a great brand. So again, so everyone, I want you to take care of yourselves. Don't be too hard on yourselves. And while, yes, I'm unhappy, I'm not going to, like, let this ruin my day. I'm not going to let, like, my unsatisfaction with my box ruin my day. Like I said, I still got some great products. I still... I'm going to use most of them, except for the lipstick. I probably won't be using the lipstick. It's too, it's, like I said, it's not my shade. And, but I'm not warm to it. We'll see. I just think it doesn't quite fit my skin tone. And take care of yourselves. Don't be too hard on yourselves. Don't be too hard on anyone. When, like when I contact customer support, I'm not going to be rude to them or anything. I'm just going to tell them what's wrong and that's it like I'm not gonna be rude I'm not gonna expect the world of them or that they I'm not gonna be a Karen about it I guess I should say but I will be contacting them because about the glow perfect being damaged so again take care and love one another